Hey guys, so in this video we are going to see how we can write <coughs> the code for finding if a word is a palindrome using Python and just in four or five lines. So if we start, let's take some input from the user. Of course, it's me. He don't know what is a string. So I'm gonna use word slash number and this works for numbers too. Not just numbers, you can enter anything. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. So what happen now is it would just take the whatever the user gave as A. So now we define some variable B as um, I'm gonna first write it. I forgot to do the shift. So now, let's write some if condition. If a equals to Oh, the else condition is quite easy. It's just else. So let's see what it does now. <coughs> let's type in something, random stuff. Says it's not a palindrome. Let's also print if you write in reverse way in reverse. get this comma let's just print b then we are done so now What is the word slash number? If you write the word in reverse, we will get this. And it's not a palindrome, so that's how it works. And it works for anything. So, write something like this. See, check it out. That's really cool. As you can see here. Isn't it cool? It's really cool, right? So, that's how this program works and it is as you can see the most important part is here that is b equals to a um, how do you say that and uh, th what this does is it takes all the words in a that's what this is for the first one and the second one what it does is it want to know by how much you want increase or decrease it wait by how much you want increase it like for example let's see what it does so now if you take a what is a if? let's say and I'm gonna not write it I'm just gonna show you how what happens inside the computer I'm gonna put it as a comment so now what it does now we have a what is a we gave it as a as a so a equals to in this a equals to and this means 
this a refers to what we gave and the actual a refers to the input I mean the variable we declared okay so to avoid confusion let's say b as b okay so now your b is equals to it's belo it belongs to the zero position in the word because computers start with zero right so, and the s takes the second position one comma again b takes third um third position but it's written in two though so now what it does this is what it does so now it take it just breaks down the parts of A and next it has one more job to do which is it is defining a new variable called B which is equals to A take all the as I said earlier takes all the parts of A and then this says by how much you should increase it but here you are decreasing it that means uh, already it would start with zero so if you decrease it uh, and don't forget that we can count from backwards too so that means we are starting from here minus one negative two and negative three so but this time it doesn't start from zero here it starts from negative one so here negative one negative two negative three so even if you take the front part of this like let's say we have only 0 to 3 it would work the same way this time so let's see what is going to happen see okay now let's see a s s a so this must be a palindrome but let's see what it says it is not a palindrome because it's just till 3 and after that it doesn't count so they're not equal now that's why so this take now this takes all the variables in a and then it decreases them by 1 so if we have 0 if you decrease it by 1 we get negative 1 so print out negative 1 first what is negative 1 which is b in the opposite way though Oh, let's say now for a new word one two three four f four three two one so here one would be the first number one wait four would be the first number I mean for the output and three would be the second because minus one what's, what's what happening there one so check it out that's the output and this is not a palindrome as you can see so that's it for now Please like and subscribe and tell me if you found this helpful. Bye for now.